what's up guys it's Kristen. welcome and welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video happy sunday you guys already know where i am on a sunday which is walgreens to do my haul for this week now since it is sunday you guys already know about the coupon spiel we receive new coupons on sundays so go into your apps the stores you shop at and just view the coupons and if it's a coupon you know you want to take advantage of go on and clip it paper coupons i think paper coupons came out today i haven't purchased paper coupons in about four or five months so i'm really not sure but if you want inserts that's your thing they did come out i think today so look do a preview and if you want it purchase get them purchase them whatever since i am at walgreens we're talking about coupons same thing with walgreens shopping couponing go through the app and clip coupons that you think you're going to use check to see if you got a spin booster for this week i received a spin 20 spin 20 get five which is actually a pretty nice booster to use so let me know if you got a booster and if you did let me know what it is remember with boosters they vary by accounts as well as not everyone will receive one and the ones that do you may not get the same one that another account has so just be mindful of that it feels good to be back shopping and couponing and getting into the swing of things so be prepared to see me more often like i said like i mentioned before but yeah no long intro needed i think this is long enough we're gonna head inside if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing joining the family and then if you have any questions or concerns don't hesitate to drop them down below and i'll get to you as quickly as i can other than that let's head inside and see what deals we're doing this week all right guys so we're in the store now i mentioned the spin booster for spend 20 get back five i'm actually going to switch accounts so on that account it has the spend 25 get back seven reason why is because i have a monthly booster for i think spend 15 dollars um six times and you get back 10 dollars in walgreens cash i need three more purchases to reach that bonus so i'm going to try to complete that as well so we're using a spend 20 get back seven booster so let's kick off this transaction with a freebie and it's going to be on the crest and aura b where they're on a promotion buy four get back a six dollar wrist reward so the best thing to do would be to pick up the three dollar products the ones on sale for three dollars pick up four of them that will total out to twelve dollars and clip that six off of four digital that popped up today you would pay six dollars get back that six dollar wrist reward makes them free my store doesn't carry the three dollar toothpaste so i'm going to pick up four of the same toothbrushes um just to make sure that coupon attaches so four of the same items making it a freebie next i'm going to grab this double pack of the orby pulsar tooth um brushes on sale for 10.99 i have a four dollar digital now, this is an old digital the reason why i'm picking this up because there's also a promotion on png personal care items that when you spend twenty dollars you will get back a five dollar wrist reward so this is going to get me to my twenty dollar total with those toothbrushes so with just this um deal alone all five packs will total out to 22.99 um, I have $10 in coupon, so it dropped down to $12.99, but then I will get back a $6 rush reward for the regular Oral-B toothbrushes, as well as a $5 rush reward for the Spend 20 for P&G, making all of these toothbrushes just $1.99, which I think is a fantastic deal, especially if you have a, um, a Spin Booster, you can throw it into the mix, like a Spin 20, get back five, um, or Spin 25, get back seven, but you would need to add some items. Um, that's what I'm going to do. But if you don't have a booster, you can just pick these up and use Walgreens cash to pay. So you just, you know, which I don't think is bad, but I'm definitely doing this deal. So let me put these in my cart. Now, if you're working with that spend 25, get back seven booster, you can throw this Dawn dish liquid into the mix. They are on sale for $1.24, buy two, get back a dollar reward. So they'll total out to $2.48, getting that dollar reward makes them $1.48 or just 79 cents each. Um, and then this gain easy squeeze is also a part of that promotion. They're um, on sale for $1.99. My store is not tagged, so you can pick up two of them. Um, it'll be $3.98. You'll pay that. Get back that dollar rest reward. It makes them just $2.98 or $1.49 each. What I'm getting instead is I'm going to do the Febreze deal. They are on sale for $3.29. Buy three, get back a $4 rest reward. What's even great is that the little um, Febreze plug right here is also included. Now, if you haven't used those Febreze digitals, we have a two dollar we have two two dollar and thirty cent digitals um that you can pick up so pick up three products and then this micro band right here is also included on sale for 4.99 we have a four dollar and 79 cent off of two digital um that is actually a pretty decent deal if you need some micro band since there's only one i'm not even going to think about this deal i'm going to pick up my products for this promotion so here are the three products that i chose to pick up these three products will total out to nine dollars and 87 cents Remember, we have two $2.30 digitals, one for the fabric spray and then one for the plug. Dropping it down to $5.27, but then I'm going to get back a $4 wrist reward for buying three. 
making them a dollar 27 for the three or 42 cents each so not a bad deal you can use walgreens cash to pay if you're doing this deal but i will be throwing this into my spin booster um because i want to use some walgreens cash so here's everything i'm picking up for my first transaction which will total out to 32 dollars 86 remember i am using a spin booster for spin 25 get back seven so after my digitals are applied it's going to drop it down to 18 26 but I'm going to get back a $7 Walgreens cash, a $6 assured, a $5 assured, as well as a $4 assured, which is a total of $22 I'm getting back after spending $18.26, making this not only free, but a $3.74 moneymaker. Now, $18 is a little more than what I want to spend out of pocket. So to help lower my out of pocket um, down, I'm going to use this $5 assured that I got from last week, which will drop me down to $13.26. And since I am at least $5 over that spend amount from so spend 25 and this is over 30 dollars in product i can also use five dollars in walgreens cash leaving me to pay 826 plus tax out of pocket i'm actually going to head up to the register and do this deal and then i'll be back with my receipt and so i can debrief and talk about how it happened all right you guys so here is the receipt um so i had issues but it was completely on me um so for on the first time when we rang everything up my six off of four coupon wasn't coming off and i couldn't figure out why but long story short, one of the toothbrushes I picked up was not the $3 one. It was actually $6 and some change. Um, and that coupon is only come off, coming off when you use, when you pick up four of the same products. Um, so then we rang it up again. Um, you can see the six off of four coupon coming off. Both of my digitals, the $2.30 for the Febreze. This time, the $4 coupon for the other Oral-B did not come off. But she did push it through since she saw it attached the first time. And then that's that $5 rest reward. Um, it dropped the subtotal down to $13.26. I told you guys, since I was at least $5 over my spend amount, I was able to use $5 in Walgreens cash. And I did get back my $7 for the booster, as well as my rush rewards. So here's the $5 for spending $20 on personal care, the $6 for the buy four deal, as well as the $4 rush reward for the buy three for the Febreze. So this was still a free plus, well, a $3 and some change moneymaker. And then we have this right here printed out for spend 25, get back seven, which I'll probably just use next week. For my next transaction, I'm gonna go with some Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. They are two for 12, buy two, get back a, a $5 rich reward. And we also have a five off of two digital. So you would pay a $7, get back a $5 rich reward, make some $2 or a dollar each. Now be careful if you're trying to do this deal online because online they're on a buy three promotion, which in my opinion sucks. So if you need some Tresemme, definitely go in store to do it. Let me pick up my products. So I just grabbed my products already. I already talked about um, the gain easy squeeze promotion for buy two, get back one. Um, and then the all is just on sale for $4.99 this week. We have a dollar digital as well as you can submit to Ibotta getting back $2, making a final cost um, $1.99 for this bottle. So for this transaction, it totals out to $20.97. Now remember, I'm trying to complete my monthly booster for those $15 purchases. Since I plan on using $5 in Walgreens cash, I'm gonna I'm gonna treat this like a spend deal for that monthly booster. Um, so that's, that's the reason why it's at least $5 over 15. That way, after I use the Walgreens cash, it doesn't affect anything and it still counts towards my spend 15. I hope that's not confusing. If you have any questions, drop them down below. So this cost, this totals out to $20.97. I only have that one, those two digital $6 in coupons, which will drop it down to $14.97. I'm gonna get back a $5 rest reward, a dollar rest reward, as well as $2 to my bottle, making it $6.97. And then I'm gonna use some of the rest rewards from that first transaction as well as $5 in Walgreens cash to help lower my out of pocket. Let me head up to the register, check out, and then I'll be back with the receipt. So this transaction went exactly where it was supposed to. No hiccups at all with pricing. You can see um, my coupon. So I did use the $6 and the $5 rich reward for this transaction. You can see the $6. The subtotal, it dropped down to $3.97, including tax, because you can use Walgreens cash to pay down tax. It, it knocked me over $5, so I just used $5 in Walgreens cash. Um, and then I did get back my rest reward, so the $5, as well as the dollar rest reward, as well as the $2 from Ibotta, um, making this final cost just $6.97 for this transaction. If you're in need of some disinfectant spray, the Walgreens brand is on sale for $1.99, no coupons needed. This is actually a pretty decent deal. You can't go wrong with disinfectant spray, and you can use Walgreens cash and rest rewards to pay. And with Halloween being just around the corner, this is a nice deal picking up some candy. 
So we have the Snicker uh, Fun Size, was this 10.36 um, bag, as well as the Reese's Snack Size, which is what, 10.5. They are on sale for $1.99 this week. No coupons needed. Same thing, use Walgreens Cash and Rich Rewards. And then for my last and final transaction, I'm gonna be picking up some Tide Simply and Downy. They're in a promotion the um, four for nine. Um, you can mix and match, no coupons needed. It makes them just $2.25 each. And then yes, yeah, same thing, use Walgreens Cash Rich Rewards to pay. Um, I don't see the small bottles of Downy, but they're also included as well as the Tide Simply packs. Let me pick up my four products and put them in my cart. Axe hair care products. Um, the shampoo and conditioner, $4.99, buy one, get one 50% off. I'm going to pick up two, which will total out to $7.48. And we have a four off of two digital. So you pay $3.48 for two, which is not bad. Um, so let me pick up my two and put them in my cart. So here's everything for my last transaction. Now, I also picked up this Family Guard um, disinfectant spray. It is $4.99. Now, it is buy one, get one 50% off. Um, and there's an Ibotta rebate giving back a dollar um, for each one. So if you were to pick up two, then it makes them, I think, five forty eight for two. But I just picked up one. So this transaction totals out to twenty one forty seven. This will complete both my monthly booster for spend fifteen, as well as I have, I think, one more rebate for Ibotta for my weekend warrior bonus getting back five dollars. So that family spray will, I'm good to go. So we got $21.47 um, after my coupons are going to drop it down to $17.47. Um, I'm going to throw in $10 in rush rewards to help load out of pocket. Um, but $17.47 getting back a dollar um, for my bottle um, of $6 total for my bottle, the dollar plus the bonus, as well as $10 in Walgreens cash to finish in my monthly bonus, um, making this final cost for me just $1.47. Um, so let me head up to the rest to check out. And again, I'll debrief my receipt. This transaction went smooth, no hiccups at all. So pricing was what it was supposed to be. You can see my $10 worth of risk rewards, as well as that dollar and that $4 digital coupon. Drop down to $7.47. Since I was over my $5 over my spend amount, I was able to use $5 of Walgreens cash. You can see I earned $10. So I did complete that monthly booster, as well as I submitted to Ibotta and I got back $6. So for me, again, this transaction was just $1.47. So not bad, not bad at all. So now it's time to go over final numbers and all of that. You guys know I like to recap with final numbers, out of pocket costs, what you will pay without the boosters, all of that. So the final cost for this did come out to $4.70 for everything that you see. But remember, I did have $15 worth of bonus between the monthly booster as well as the weekend warrior bonus for my bottle. So without that, the final cost would have been $19.70. Um, now, out of pocket, I did pay $10.73 um, out of pocket. Of course, rolling my rewards as well as using um, Walgreens cash and stuff to pay. But let me know if you score. Let me know which deal is your favorite as well as if you just plan on going to Walgreens at all. That's all I have. I love y'all. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.